Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Air Bendu Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of March general love reading. Now keep in mind because these are general readings, that means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So I'm going to tell you, Scorpio, you guys know I always do the readings on the channel where I'm presented on the channel because, you know, it allows you guys to read my energy and you guys can connect with me. It's almost like, you know, a little bit like a face-to-face. -face. And I'm going to tell you, I already did you guys reading. And when I was going over, you know, all of the readings and uploading everything to make sure everything went through, you guys' reading was completely deleted. You guys' reading was like 20 minutes long. I'm not joking. And it had a very deep and profound message to it. But I feel like because that is deleted, there's no such thing as coincidences, okay? There's no such thing as accidents. Everything is playing out divinely as it should. So there's a message behind that, the fact that this is deleted, okay? That message is deleted. So I'm getting a message for some of you guys that you may need to be in the mindset of deleting messages that no longer serve you. In other words, if you were saving messages from someone that you had feelings for or someone that you're trying to get over, you may need to delete those messages so it can help you move forward. Because it's like just the fact that you're holding it there, even if you're not looking at it frequently, just holding it there is collecting some type of energy, okay? Energetically, it's keeping some type of bond or some type of tie to you, to that person, okay? Also, the fact that, you know, your message deleted, I literally, I literally heard like something saying like, Someone feels as though they have been forgotten about, like somebody has left them out of something. And when it comes to matters of heart, I feel as though you may feel as though the universe has forgotten about you. You know what I mean? And when it comes to your happiness, as far as love goes, okay? Now, when I was mess uh, channeling your message, the song that I heard was Pick Up Your Feelings by Jasmine Sullivan. I'll leave a link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. And, um, you know, with that, with that song is basically saying like, I'm over you. I'm moving out of the situation. You, you did something impulsively. You reacted in a certain way. You acted in your feelings versus logically. So either this is a message for you specifically that you need to act out of logic and not out of emotion or B, somebody responded to you and you could be keeping, a, cause I keep seeing somebody looking at their phone, looking at a message over and over again. Um, a message that needs to be deleted. I'm just telling you that right now. It needs to be deleted. Because going back to your initial reading, it has to be deleted for a reason. Because obviously this was the more prominent message that you guys needed to get today. Okay? I just want to show you, you guys know I always change cards at the top and the bottom. And I'm going to do that here. Change card top and the bottom deck. You guys know I always hold them down so I don't see it so you see it. But sometimes I'm always guided to look at the cards at the back of the deck. And here's the cards that we got. So... You literally have the four of cups, okay? This is some type of sadness because you're feeling not happy with a situation. And it's very interesting because that's cups, so that's energy, your energy. So you have the four of cups right behind it. You have the four of wands. So you have two fours already starting off. So you could have been separated or not speaking to someone for the past four days, four weeks, or four months. You could have been dealing with someone for the past four years also, okay? If you notice right here, this is someone who his back is facing the four of wands. The four of wands is the marriage and commitment, you know, um, setting a foundation, family unit card, but his back is facing it because something about this marriage was unfulfilling on the emotional level because cups is the emotions and feelings. And then right behind that, you have the nine of wands, the single woman, single man card. So it's like somebody may have left a marriage or is planning to leave a marriage because they're not happy emotionally. Something is not fulfilling. There definitely could be an energy of a third party situation. And I know you guys hate that, but I have to be real with you because there's one cup that's coming towards him, but then on the side of him, and you know how they say like a third party is a side piece, a side chick, a side, you know, one, two, three cups on the side of him. So someone could have left a marriage because of a third party situation and decided to be single or someone may be thinking about that. Because if you notice right here, he's sitting. So he's not putting action into the situation. He's sitting and thinking about what he's going to do next. What's going to be the next chapter in his life because he has that book there. It's already on a page. So somebody is trying to plan the next chapter of their life is what I'm getting. Okay. So I'm just going to tuck these in here randomly. So if you get these cards again, as you can see, I'm not, they're not around each other. You're definitely meant to get that um, message. Also with those two fours being back to back. Four plus four is eight. So some of you guys could be dealing with someone whose birthday is in August, either August Leo or August Virgo. Also, you could have an eight in your birthday. Your birthday could be the eighth, the 18th, the 28th, something to that nature. Okay. Um, you could be a life path number eight also is what I'm getting. 
So let's change the card to the top and the bottom of the deck. Okay. And then we're going to jump into your reading. <clears throat> So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody needs to get up out of their feelings because the abundance isn't there. The abundance is moving forward to something new. And I do have to tell you in your pre-shuffle, you did have a lot of earth. Oh, you had a lot of earth. You had earth and air. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Summer, Wise, and Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy emphasis on Taurus, okay? So some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus individual. Doesn't have to be the case. You could also have abundance, okay, with stability coming in in Taurus season also, which is April, May. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles, that's something stable, something concrete, something that has continuous means to flourish, okay? Um, and this could also be talking about purchasing a home. I'm just hearing purchasing a home. I'm feeling like there's going to be major purchases that's going to be made this year for you all. You guys know we are in a sixth year, and the sixth year is about coming together, union, stability, balancing things out, and a lot of emphasis on domestic situations, okay? So this is going to be something very prominent for a lot of you all. I feel like a lot of you all have been working your butt off for a while, and now you're getting ready to reap the rewards, okay? So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the death card. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? And I, sometimes I feel like I do like when I do it like this. I know it's, it's very personable to be on camera so you guys can read my energy because that is a powerful tool. For a lot of you all, you may not know you're as intuitive as you are, but when you see someone on camera, you can read a person's energy and see if they're fake and they're bullshitting. So I do like to do that, but also I do like for you guys to see the cards and you guys to see how I'm holding it down and you can see yourself. That I'm not just coming up with some false narrative. Whatever cards we get, if it resonates with you, that's the message you're supposed to get. Okay. Okay. So now currently at the bottom of the deck, absolutely pick up your pieces or uh, pick up your feelings. And I just said pieces, but the name of the song is pick up your feelings, literally pick up the pieces. Okay. Cause shit is falling apart around someone. Now you have major arcana, the tower with again, a definite energy, something coming to a crashing halt, something unexpected, unpredictable, cause that's always what the tower is. And this resonates with your energy also. This is the energy of Scorpio as well as Aries. So in Aries season, there could be a major shakeup, especially if you were thinking about leaving a relationship. Somebody may be getting kicked to the curb. And if you notice, this person is nude right here. Nudity talks about vulnerability. And I feel like that vulnerability I'm picking up is that somebody isn't going to be expecting this to happen. Now, this could either be you or you could be putting someone out is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go through the deck and get your major arcana. Okay. Wow. Look at all this. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So <laughs> you got the tower. You got major arcana, the um, star card, wish fulfillment, healing. And I did say air signs. So some of you guys be dealing with Aquarius. Or this may have happened already in Aquarius season because you see how he's falling in the direction of the star. Okay. And then you have the ten of pentacles. So it's like if something fell apart, it's being healed and, and mended. I just heard remedy also. It's coming back together quickly. Now, also, I wish your physical body because you see you have two people here who are new. So two people were very vulnerable. and Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> two people are very vulnerable and raw. Remember the name of the song is Pick Up Your Feelings. She's sitting in water. Water is your emotions and feelings. So some of you all are sitting in your feelings and in your emotions about a breakup possibly. But it's like healing is coming quicker than you expect. You are going to be abundant. And it's something that's going to be coming into your reality that you're going to be very passionate about. And it has to do with travel and forward movement and a cycle ending. This is actually quite a beautiful spread. I know the tower looks quite defeating and menacing. But at the same time, the tower only falls because it was built on a faulty foundation to begin with. So you may have been fighting for a situation or building on a foundation in a situation that was not best aligned for you. And something new is coming in. I feel like none of this is negative. You know what I mean? Even if you feel like this is menacing, it, it's like this had to happen. Okay? So take this out of the equation. Yes, it's a major arcana, but then it's being countered by another major arcana. Okay? And then another one that's ending it. So you have major arcana star card, wish fulfillment, healing, dreams coming true, ten of pentacles. So if your dreams is for utter stability, financial, physical, emotional things like that is you're getting it and there's something that you're going to be very passionate about moving forward into your future you also have taurus leo scorpio your energy and aquarius energy here i'm telling you, you guys have amazing stuff going on for you so nothing here is small this is going to be a year where you're not going to be playing mm -hmm, okay this is going to be a year where you're not playing small at all and this is why this was the main message that you were meant to get 
So while the message I'm getting is while you felt like the universe had left you out in the cold when it comes to love and relationships, even if you're in a relationship, you may feel like this is not happy. This does not feel abundant. I want out. You know, if you've been saying that to yourself, the universe got you out of there and it may not have felt good the way it went down. But it was meant to happen so that you can come into all this amazing energy, okay? There was definitely possibly some type of betrayal with the Ten of Swords being stabbed in the back. Now, notice here you have two tens, right? <clears throat> you have an abundant ten, and you have a harmful or hurtful or destructive ten, right? <clears throat> and it's interesting because as I'm talking now, my throat chakra is acting up, and swords is communication and mental. Sword up, yes, sword down, no. So sword down. So somebody has been keep it to themselves for a long period of time that they were not happy and it's time to come out of that i feel like this is like some type of tower moment is catapulting you into greatness you know what i mean and i know that sounds like bullshit because i wouldn't want to hear that either but just just bear with me because you're not going to get all this beautiful energy and nothing positive is coming out of it it looks like this is going to be past energy and i said gonna be because for some of you all you're currently going through it because you see how the source is hovering over his back some of you guys are currently going through it Right beyond that, you got your major arcana. So, and this was the card that we were looking for. So, yeah, you're coming out, ooh, you're coming out of betrayal. Heavy, 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 heavy. Look at these energies. So, you got the Ten of Swords being betrayed, stabbed in the back, and you're in your head about it. What did I say the name of song was? Pick up your feelings. Look at her. She's holding and clutching herself because she's going through something devastating. And I did say earlier on with that four of cups because there was three cups on the side. There definitely could have been a side chick or a side guy in this in the picture. You know what I mean? And and look at oh look at that. And as soon as I said that, your candle just went out. Wow. Okay, so some, the flame is going out in some type of relationship with somebody for sure. Also because it's the flame, the candle just went out. You have the, this woman in red right here. A third party could be a fire sign. A fire sign could be the reason that you and your relationship is done and over with. Because I also want you to see this. This six of cups, somebody that you have history with. Right behind it, the eight of wands, something fire. Leo Sash Aries, okay? Something coming in hot and heavy. Fast moving communication, something coming out of the blue unexpectedly. And then right behind it, you got three of swords, heartbreak. But what's coming from right behind those that um heart is flames, okay? So... I literally feel as though there could have been a third party who is a fire sign, possibly even a Leo, okay? Because I'm just noticing how big these sunflowers are right here, right in our face. And sunflowers is the flower of Leo. So there could be a Leo individual who played a role in a situation. Let's see what we get for you. The fact that that fire, that candle went out right then and there lets us know that something is dead and done. Literally. Death card, your major arcana, something is dead and done. Also, I feel like what's dead and done is you thinking so much, being in your head a lot about a situation. And also, you see how she's blindfolded? If you didn't know who this third party is, I feel like you may be finding out. You may be finding out. Okay? Bottom of the deck, I'm telling you, it could be a fire sign for sure. Or your person could be a fire sign. You have the Knight of Wands. That's the Playboy play girl here for a good time, not a long time, in and out, hot and cold. Head to toe, this knight is in armor. Armor does what? It protects you. So this person has been trying to protect their um, indiscretions is what I'm hearing. If you look in the background, you got one, two, three mountains. Mountains and hills to know the energy of hurdles and challenges, something that you need to get over. There's a third party that's possibly a hurdle or a challenge in this situation for sure. Somebody's thinking with their wand, okay, instead of with their head. You get what I'm saying, okay? So let's part the deck so we can shuffle. Absolutely, there's a fire sign involved in this situation. Either your person or a third party for sure. Even if you have fire in a chart, I don't feel like it's you. There's another person. Now, in this sentiment, this could be your energy, right? Because the seven of wands is guarding this, defensiveness, needing to be protective of yourself. You could be blocking someone on social media. You could be blocking someone from being able to contact you. Because if you look at his face, he's dead set on protecting his peace, okay? By all means necessary. Again, I'm going to say... Your candle literally just went out and you got all this fiery energy. Some of you all also, yeah, okay. So what I'm getting is all, some of you guys could also feel like you're tired. Like you don't have the fire and tenacity to keep moving and keep going on. Because fire is energy. You know, fire is your vitality, your life force, right? So some of you all could have felt like you, you, this relationship just like literally took the fire out of you. But I feel like you're getting ready to regain it back. Okay, some fight, some strength. Just seeing the devil. Some of you guys could be dealing with Capricorn or someone who's a toxic individual or a karmic partnership. And I do feel like this is a karmic partnership for some of you all. Quite a bit of you all, honestly. 
<laughs> and I was going to keep shuffling, but I do want to show you this. I said the name of the song was Pick Up Your Feelings, the Queen of Cups. This is someone who could definitely be very much in their feelings, okay? And you have this um, Knight of Wands in reverse, but he's going towards her in reverse. So that's why I said some of you guys were definitely dealing with somebody who is possibly a fire sign. There's a fire sign in the mix somehow. Bottom of the deck, you have the, you just had the Queen of Cups, so that's strong cancer energy, and now you have the Chariot Cancer energy. Here's the thing. Somebody could definitely be leaving a situation with someone that they were either married to, because you did have the Four of Wands in the beginning. A queen is always a spouse, right? Because you just had the Queen of Cups. Somebody could be leaving a home life, because again, you have somebody being ejected, kick clean the hell up out of that castle tower and then you have this person driving away from the tower so some of you guys are doing some forward movement away from a situation but i want you to understand and realize this you when you move away you're moving away very strong and very powerfully he does not look uh, his his emotions look very unwavering Ooh, i never noticed this i'm just noticing i don't know if you guys can see this too it looks like those eyes are red you see that And it's giving me, it's giving me anger. And it's very interesting because, like I said, she's blindfolded. Her blindfolds are red. Somebody's anger. Somebody's angry. You know, like somebody's top is about to blow. And then I'm just noticing how the roofs of the of the castle is red. Somebody's top is about to blow. And in other words, somebody's about to lose their shit, or somebody already did. Because also the tower, if it's not a breakup or some type of ending of a relationship, that's that could be a hot and heated argument. An explosion. Okay. So, but there's forward movement for you all. Let's see what's up under here. Yeah. And it's going to be abundant. I like this. I told you. Bear with me. I said that. This looks quite menacing, but there's abundance. I feel like 110% this tower was supposed to force you out of a situation where you may have been comfortable. Because who wouldn't be comfortable in a home that big, you know? And something that, that seems luxurious and something that you felt like was your dream come true. This tower was forcing you out of a situation towards your true abundance with the will of fortune. And it's something fated and destined because every single one of these books, okay, has some type of fate and destiny attached to it. It's already been written. It's been divinely orchestrated and something else was meant to play out, okay? Even this tower moment was meant to play out. So let's get a clarifier for the Ten of Swords for Scorpio, Summer, Rising, Venus, and the Visuals. Ten of Swords for Scorpio, Summer, Rising, Venus, Individuals. And keep in mind, Ten is also the end of a cycle. The end and the beginning is what Ten is in numerology. It's literally the ending and, and catapulting you into a beginning. So this was just the ending of this situation and the beginning of this situation with those two Tens there. That's why I said, have no fear. Okay, yep. So there was an ending of a marriage or a long-term commitment for some of you guys. This is the second time you got this card. I can't deny it, okay? Let's see what's up under there. Yep. Somebody's tired of fighting for a marriage, possibly. And I'm, I'm going to say again, it has to do with a third party for some of you guys. You have three people here. And of these five swords, he's holding one, two, three. You have it in reverse. Upright, there's arguments, cons uh, conflicts, disagreements, some type of battle. In reverse, that's coming out of that. And I really feel like somebody's like, I'm done with the betrayal. I'm done with the bullshit. I want out. Okay? Somebody wants out of a marriage. Or a long-term commitment. Again, you don't have to be married. And here's that four energy again, right? So you could have been with this person for four plus years. You guys could have been separated. Again, four days, four weeks, four months. I'm picking up more of a longer period of time, like four weeks, four months. Is what I'm getting. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, you got the king of swords. Again, I'm going to say some of you guys could definitely be dealing with an air sign. Both cards on the side of you are air. You got um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then I'm going to say again, there's possibly a third party that was the cause of the situation. Because if you look right over his head, there's one, two, three butterflies. This person was flying and flitting around with every damn body, right? Yep, being deceptive, magician in reverse, Gemini, air, okay? Gemini, Virgo. The magician in reverse is someone who is using their skills and abilities in a negative way, right? They're doing this in a negative way. They're being deceptive. They're being manipulative because the magician is, a, is an illusionist. They're a master of manipulation. So this person was being, possibly with their words, very verbally manipulative. So it's, it's communication in the mental, okay? Let's get a clarifier for the Nine of Swords. For Scorpio, whoo, coming out of that. Look what card flipped up. Can't make this up. Cannot make this up. Coming out, look, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior in reverse. Coming out of heartbreak for sure because you got three of 
um, swords in reverse, and now you have the star card upright. So either way it goes, either of these cards here is definitely very prominent. And this is just um, reinforcement, okay? Three of swords in reverse, you're coming out of heartbreak, no longer feeling battle weary. You're coming out of that, okay? And then you're doing healing, great dealing. Did I not say this with those last cards? You got it right here. So I feel like for some of you all, this played out in Aquarius season. For others, it definitely could be involved in Aquarius. You got Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? You could have it could have been involved in Aquarius, or this could have been happening in Aquarius season, okay? Where there's some healing that's coming about, and you're done with the bullshit. You're done with the mundane. No longer fighting for things that you feel like you know have met an ending. They've met an ending already, and. You, Regardless, if you look right here, all these cards, there's no major arcanas, right? And the only major arcana that came out came up right. Healing. This is definite healing, definite wish fulfillment. You guys are going towards a very positive cycle in your life. But this tower moment that you just went through was meant to catapult you into that healing. Something, this wasn't just some type of breakup. This wasn't just some type of deception and cheating and betrayal. This was something that was meant to heal you on an emotional level. Because, again, even though uh, this is the water barrier, Aquarius is an air sign. So the fact that you keep doing these watery references and you are a water sign is letting you know that they're saying it was, wow, yes, again, water is emotion feelings. Just like the Jasmine Sullivan song, pick up your feelings. That's, and look at it. It's like she's, she's pouring this water out. It's like you could have been pouring so much of yourself and some people emotionally, they're telling you now it's time for you to give back to yourself in this situation. And I feel like a lot of you all are. You're coming out of that. And this is why you're getting ready to become abundant. And, and a lot of the things that you were hoping and wishing for is now about to be all yours. Again, that's Major Arcana. So that is a definite energy. Okay? So thank you so much, Scorpio, for watching Queen Urban Tarot. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.